When Contact Number 7 started investigating a Colorado food truck salesman, the reports were about ripoffs and fraudulent parts. Well, tonight and only on Denver 7, something next level, an entire family's life put in danger when their food truck exploded. They reached out to Contact Denver 7's Jacqueline Allen, reporting a name we are very familiar with. I said, help me, please, I'm on fire. What happened to Deshaun Ordebees? Burns on my leg, on my arm. Happened in a flash. Captured on surveillance video, the explosion inside her food truck with her entire family inside. I see my kids and they're burnt. <laughs> How did we survive? How did we live? In the beginning, owning a taco truck. It started by me selling tacos out of my house. Was a dream come true for Deshaun and her family until they met Larry Perez. This is my very first receipt that I received from him was a restaurant equipment warehouse. Receipts show they hired Larry, see his name in the email, to modify their food trailer, including gas lines. Remember that. They picked up the trailer on September 23rd, that same day setting up to serve tacos in the Players Club parking lot. I was just cooking like this and we were laughing and all of a sudden I saw a ball of fire <laughs> hit me. Surveillance video shows the explosion. Amazingly, everyone inside the food truck made it out. Burned me all right here. But their scars are still healing. What do you think caused the explosion? I think it was because negligence. We paid him to hook up the vertical grill, but he didn't hook it up, so it was leaking gas the whole time. In a statement to contact Denver 7, Adams County Fire Rescue confirms a gas supply line was found in a disconnected position to a cooking appliance. At first, Larry Perez seemed responsive, seen here at the family's home the day after the fire. He says, I'm going to make it right, I'm going to make it right, give me a week, give me a week. A week goes by, now it's been a whole month. When she reached out to contact Denver 7, the name Larry Perez set off alarm bells. Where's the rest of his truck? You guys got the wrong information, but anyways. Back in 2018, our investigation into Perez and his businesses exposed his practices, taking thousands from clients who got little in return. Basically, I was left with a truck with a whole bunch of huge holes in it. The fraud was so widespread last year, a Denver district judge ordered Perez and his partner to pay $4.5 million in the case, permanently banning him from any activity related to the fabrication, repair, or sale of food trucks. So we went to Larry's office. Is Larry here? He is. He is here. They say he doesn't work here anymore, so we try where they work on trucks. When will Larry be here? Oh, I don't know. Okay. No one's talking there either. This is Jacqueline Allen with Denver 7. I was trying to reach Larry Perez. On the phone, Perez said his attorney would call us. Why are you still doing anything with the food truck industry? Ma'am, I sell restaurant equipment, okay? Is he working on food trucks? He is. How do you know? I've seen them. Deshaun says not only was her taco trailer gutted in the fire, Larry took off with thousands she paid him to build a new food truck. Why did you reach out to contact Denver 7? I want people to know this is serious. What happened in a flash, she found out too late, has been simmering for years. Now she doesn't want anyone else to get burned. These are people's lives that he's playing with. In Thornton, Jacqueline Allen, Denver 7. We checked with the Attorney General's office, which said anyone violating a court order could face fines, even possibly jail time. And they welcome tips or complaints regarding violations, but they cannot report about ongoing investigations. We'll stay on top of it and keep you posted.